coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. EASA identifies five requirements for the 737 MAX to return to service. Virgin Galactic and social capital Hedo Sophia announce merger. And UK pilots a new world record. Happy Friday and thanks for tuning in. I'm Sophie Herlock. EASA sent a letter to the FAA and Boeing outlining five major requirements needing to be addressed before the agency will allow the Boeing 737 MAX to return to service in Europe. The issues brought up by EASA parallel the FAA's concerns. And the FAA confirms the specific matters being raised by EASA, but said they continue to work closely with other validating civil aviation authorities on their review of Boeing certification documentation for the 737 MAX. And while the process involves regular communication among the parties, the FAA did not confirm the items specified by EASA. A person familiar with the matter who requested to remain anonymous said the issues identified by EASA include potential difficulty for pilots to turn the manual trim wheel, the unreliability of the 737 MAX airplane's AOA sensors, and a software issue revealed last week by the FAA. Previous unreported issues involving the failure of the autopilot to disengage in certain emergencies were also cited. Other issues were listed by EASA, but they were not flagged as critical. Boeing expects the 737 MAX to be cleared by September. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com Now let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. A group of 20 South African high school students have built and flown a Sling 4 airplane from Cape Town, South Africa to Egypt, a distance of nearly 6,500 nautical miles. The U Dream Global Project was founded by 17-year-old pilot Megan Werner with the purpose to show Africa that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. The Sling 4 took three weeks for the teens to build from a kit manufactured by the airplane factory. U.S. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chow announced the department will award $477 million in airport infrastructure grants to 264 airports in 44 states the Pacific Islands, and the District of Columbia. This is the third allotment of the total $3.18 billion in FAA Airport Improvement Program funding for airports across the United States. Calling for enhanced cooperation and assistance at a meeting of regional civil aviation, Directors General, ICAO Secretary General Dr. Fang Lu cautioned that the insufficient compliance with aviation safety and security requirements present a substantial threat to the vitality of the tourism industry in the Caribbean. The Secretary General remarks were delivered at the opening of the ninth meeting of Directors General of Civil Aviation for ICAO's North America. American, Central American, and Caribbean region. The pilot of a Jetstar Airways airplane was getting ready to depart Australia's Gold Coast for Adelaide when the first officer noticed a turtle on the pavement in front of the plane. The flight was delayed for four minutes to allow the turtle to move out of the plane's way. First officer James Fuller said he'd seen rabbits on the tarmac before, but this was the first time he'd seen a turtle trying to cross the pavement. We'll be right back with the rest of the news after these messages. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Un einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you.
there's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Virgin Galactic and social capital Hedo Sophia announced their upcoming merger with SCEH, owning up to 49% of the company. Upon closing the transaction, which is expected in the second half of 2019, Virgin Galactic will be introduced to the first publicly traded commercial human spaceflight company. On this merger, Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson said, By embarking on this new chapter, we can open space to more investors, and in doing so, open space to thousands of new astronauts. We are at the dawn of a new space age that recognizes its huge potential to improve and sustain life on Earth. Virgin Galactic is a vertically integrated aerospace company specializing in commercial human space flight. Using proven and reusable technology, it plans to offer customers a unique multi-day experience through personal space flight that includes out of seat zero gravity and views of planet Earth from space. Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity was the first and remains the only vehicle built for regular commercial service to have put humans into space. The inaugural space flight back in December of 2018 was the first and only human space launch from U.S. soil since 2011. During its second space flight in February of this year, VSS Unity became the first vehicle built for commercial service to carry pilots as well as crew. As part of the transaction, the existing management team and CEO of Virgin Galactic George T. Whitesides will remain in place following the close of the transaction. British pilots Mike Roberts and Nicholas Rogers have successfully flown a Piper Malibu to 16 countries in 24 hours in order to claim a new world record. Mike and Nicholas began the challenge back on June 25th and now they're waiting for formal verification from Guinness World Records. Beginning with a night departure from Denmark's Roskilde Airport at 3.30 a.m. Visiting Sweden as the sun rose before returning to Denmark briefly and then onward to Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Slovenia, Italy, Austria, Switzerland, Germany, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Belgium, and France. The two pilots embarked on this journey in order to raise awareness for the campaign to save the Wales Warren Airfield, which has been under the threat of closure by its landlord since 2015. Mike and Nicholas already hold the Guinness World Record for the greatest number of airfields visited in 24 hours. When they landed at 87 airfields in the UK and a Cessna C-172 back in 2017. And that's it for us this week everyone. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And stay up to date on your aviation aerospace news this weekend by heading over to aero-news.net. I'll see you right back here on Monday for another episode of Airborne Unlimited.